did you buy a graphics tablet without any of like the side buttons that actually do anything with your programs? Do you not want to buy a special thing that does that? But do you also have a Nintendo Switch with detachable Joy-Con? Well, I have a tutorial for you. Today, in my TED Talk, I'm going to show you if you can use your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, both left or right, as a macro keyboard device for your drawing programs and other things like that. So, for the stuff you need, you need a Joy-Con, a computer or a laptop that has Bluetooth capabilities, and a pr free program called joy to key Links will be in the description. And if you don't have a Bluetooth capable device, you can buy Bluetooth adapters for your computer on like Amazon for a couple dollars. All you need to do is take off the Joy-Con safety harness thing and if you see that button right there, click on the black part of the Joy-Con, you hold that in for three seconds or however long it takes to enter pairing mode. And once that's happened, you have to go to your Bluetooth settings and pair the Joy-Con with your computer or device or whatever. Then the next thing you need to do is go to the link in the description to download Joy to Key. Choose from one of the four downloads from the website and uh, install it. I know it says that you can buy a license, but don't worry. I've used it for like several months and it never actually told me I had to buy a license. So now all that's left to do is configure your inputs or whatever, like keys on the controller bind to what keys on your keyboard. For example, the trigger button might be space bar, so you can like just hit the trigger button and you can activate like the drag around the canvas mode. Or the bumper, or L, or R, just L or R, could activate Control Z. Like it's an easy place to have easy access to what the undo function. Stuff like that. It will be different for everybody. Oh, and also note, you have to repair the Joy-Con to the Switch every time you use it on the computer or with your device. So you use it with your device. Once you're done, you pair it back to the Switch. That's just sort of how it works. Basically all that means before you use it with your Switch again, you just have to connect it to the console again, and then it'll be paired. That's all you need to do to repair it. And boom, you're basically done. As long as your Joy-Con doesn't have any drifting issues, you should be fine. So yeah. And what I've noticed is that you have to reconnect the Joy-Con, like when you're not using it, when you haven't used it on the Switch either. So just be ready to hold the pair button every time you want to use it. What did you say your name was?